Welcome to The Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Tea Tuesday, or in my world, Crafty Tuesday. Today we're going to restore a little piece of vintage chalkware. I hope you'll enjoy. I purchased this delightful little piece of chalkware for a quarter and I'm going to use nail lacquer to do a restoration job on it. I'm going to begin with this old bottle of yellow, which will be the undercoat for the other colors. As you can see before I began, I did brush away all of the chipped up paint that was originally on the chalkware. Red is not a color that covers well. The two common undercoats will be yellow and the other I'm going to be using is going to be orange. This bottle of yellow lacquer is old and gummy, so I'm going to get every penny I can out of it, and once it's dry, I'm going to sand it and make it nice and smooth. Between each stage of painting, I put the lacquer in front of the fan to dry for about five minutes. The undercoat for the leaves, I'm going to be using a lime green lacquer right over the yellow. On the cherries, I'm going to highlight the areas where the sun will kiss the fruit with this little bit of yellow and give it a little depth. The yellow will shine through the more transparent areas of orange and red and give it that natural speckled look that real fruit has. I'm going to take just a moment and add a little bit of green top coat and take a look to see what it looks like. We'll let that dry and we'll give the cherries their final coat. I am using a lighter shade of red on the cherries. 
The red I'm using on the apple is more of a ruby, which creates a candy apple red color. As the lacquer dries, you can do a little bit of touch-up as you go along. What I'm doing here is I'm mixing the green with some of the red to give it that natural sun-kissed redness that some leaves have. I'm using my brown watercolor by Arteza to create the brown for the stems as well as the branch. I'm going to seal the watercolor with a clear coat of nail varnish. So we have successfully rescued a vintage piece of chocolate. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. Share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends and help me to reach 1,000 subscribers. I welcome your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Check us out on Instagram and tap that notification button for upcoming announcements of thrifts and crafts. But most of all, have a lovely, lovely day.